Alright, gonna do this video just showing you and just backing up my point that the whole street preaching movement is nothing more than just a Vatican psyop to just demonize true Bible believing Christians. And these these clowns, these heretics, they go out and they just they scream at people, they yell at people, they just they make a mockery of the gospel. Of course they don't preach the gospel, they preach Roman Catholic uh, Roman Catholic workspace gospel of this continual having to be holy and having to do this and having to do, 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 do that. It's Roman, it's Roman Catholic doctrine because the uh, Catholic Church says you have to die in a state of grace to be saved. These street preaching jokers like Jesse Morrell, Ruben Israel, they say you don't, have, you, you don't, they don't say you have to die in a state of grace. They'll say you just have to die in a holy state and or uh, to be uh, or die in a sinless state to get into heaven. Exactly what the Catholics believe. But this video is by a channel called Calling Christians, and I think they're an Islamic channel, um, based on these comments, you know, calling us cross worshippers and everything. So I think it's an Islamic channel, but they bring out some clips of some of these street preaching, these goons, these Vatican goons, who are just going out and just, they're not even preaching the gospel. I mean, they're just yelling at people, they're just, you know, and I, I'm going to get into some scripture just really showing how what these guys do is not biblical. Uh, nor in scripture are we told to go out and just get a megaphone and yell at people. Uh, we're supposed to uh, preach the gospel of meekness and, and that kind of stuff. The fruit of the spirits. These guys don't manifest that. They just, um, they're very, with the street preaching movement, I've, I've said this before, but there's a very, very big pride issue with many of them. Uh, because they think that they're sinlessly perfect, so they lift themselves up on a pedestal just like the Pharisees did. And they basically think that they're of a higher like standing than everyone else. They're like of a higher. They basically become their own gods, essentially, because they have to ascend the Christ levels, the Christ level of holiness, uh, which is actually also what the Jesuits believe too. But not going to get to all that. But the bottom line is, is that the street preachers are nothing more than just a Roman. I mean, they they claim, oh yeah, they'll say, oh yeah, we're against. Like they'll, I'll say it this way, they'll deny it and say that, oh no, we're against Catholics. We rebuke Catholics. So yeah, they may oppose, you know, the whole idolatry and Roman Catholicism. And you know, Reuben Israel, he goes to the uh, Catholic convention and smashes a Mary statue. So yeah, they're against. They'll claim, yeah, we, we rebuke Catholicism, but in terms of salvation wise, and in terms of many of their doctrine, they line up perfectly with the Catholic Church. I mean, their conditional security, which is Roman Catholic, I've shown that in other videos. The Council of Trent condemns condi uh, eternal security. They are a lot of them are post-trib which is also Roman Catholic. The Catholic Church says they have to go through a, a final time of purification. Uh, they, many, of, many of them are also non-dispensational. That's why they'll take verses like Matthew 24 or 13 and say, see, you have to endure until the end to be saved. When Matthew 24 is not even dispensationally for us, it's dispensationally in the time of Jacob's trouble. And, and they'll take... Um, They'll run back to the Old Testament, like Ezekiel 33, Ezekiel chapter 3, Ezekiel chapter 18, to say, see, you can lose your salvation. Again, non-dispensational, which is Roman Catholic. They are Trinitarians. Many of them are Trinitarians, which is also Roman Catholic. Uh, the Catholic, I've shown this in other videos, I've shown it in past videos. The Catholic Catechism says that the Trinity is the most core doctrine to the Catholic Church. So yeah, they, they may, you know, bash Roman Catholicism, they may speak against Catholicism, but many of their doctrine lines up perfectly with Roman Catholicism. You know, Lordship Salvation. You know, Salvation is a, a continual process of holiness and that kind of stuff. So yeah, it, they're Roman Catholics. They can deny it, but they're preaching Roman Catholic doctrine. So, but I'm going to play this. I'm going to skip ahead for some of the parts, because some of it is just very, very vexing and very, very wicked. And uh, let's get right into it. Here again today with the Bible, preach the Word of God on this campus, because I know, and God knows, that there's a lot of sin in your hearts. He is the King of Kings, he is, he is the family. Lord of Lords, and you are not in His family. I'm sorry. You are bastard seed right family. now. You're bastard seed. You're the you devil's need to child. Treat these your father like family, is the devil, like you are he is the father him. of lies, and you are you obeying are Actually, your father, you know, the street preacher right there, actually his father is the devil, because he's not saved. He's a Roman Catholic. You are an embarrassment right to a holy God. There was a young man in, in Calvary. Uh, his name was Ben. And I was running a youth group. That might be needed. I hope that one day you will realize what a hateful person you are. You know what? I'm afraid to I am hateful. I agree. Are you an open-minded person? Uh, out of curiosity, are you open-minded? An open mind is the devil's outhouse. <laughs> Oh yeah, one thing I also want to point out too, he says the devil's outhouse. A lot of these street preachers, while claiming to be sinlessly perfect, they'll go into graphic detail of sexual acts and they'll just, I mean, I saw this really vexing video of morale uh, 
basically protesting the Supreme Court's uh, this decision to legalize sodomite marriage, and he was basically describing how you know sodomites have sex. I'm like, okay. I mean, you don't have to go into details. But it's pretty disgusting. He's like, you don't do that as a Christian. You don't have to go into graphic detail of all that stuff and, and, and go into graphic detail of, of you know parts, sexual parts. Uh, you keep you're supposed to keep that discreet. You don't you don't do that as a Christian. You don't you don't blast it over the megaphone. You know, and then they claim they're sinlessly perfect. And some of these guys use profanity too. I've seen. I've seen videos of these guys actually like like uh, using cuss words like the S word and other stuff like that, you know, while claiming to be sinlessly perfect. Right. Let me just skip ahead again. Uh, but again, you see like a pride. Oh, you're there's sin in your heart. You're a father of the devil. You know, it's what a Pharisee does, because these guys again they think they're sinlessly perfect. They think that they're basically above. To, to, they think they think they're at God's level of holiness, so they become very prideful. And this is the fruits. This is the corrupt fruit of the street preaching movement. Skip ahead. Shame on you! You need to get busy in the kitchen and stop acting like a man. Yeah, because you really? weren't born with a penis, don't I mean you have to envy us so. See right there? Just 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 you know, let's just mention it out in public like that. You know. And I apologize to Vex you like that, you know, using that using that word to describe the body part. Yeah, pretty vexing what these guys do. You don't do that as a Christian. You keep it discreet. Much, okay? So really, women Get shouldn't right be allowed Jesus to vote. Christ. Women shouldn't be allowed to vote. That that's your big. That, that's that's your think big. The country's sir? in a mess. Women oh, like you are voting you're for a Hillary big Clinton. Man. You're not big, man. Yeah, who are you voting you're for? So Hillary Clinton. You're so scared of women that women can't vote. You have really? no standards. You spread your legs for yeah, any woman. You spread your legs for probably any man that'll take you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Islam. Shame on you. Islam. Islam is a lie. Go back to Iraq, Muslim. So hold me God, because you call yourself a Christian. The little kid over there, Dean Saxton, is a brother Dean. He's not my brother. He's a lost Catholic. But uh, these guys, they also like to go after Muslims too. They'll, they'll just. I mean, and of course, Islam is a satanic cult. I'm not denying that. But uh, they will just blast it in the megaphone. You go back to Iraq, Muslim. You know. Yeah, that's really preaching the gospel there. You know, really preaching the gospel. Yeah, right. But you're a vagina liquor. Judging me since I got here. You've been judging. Wow, disgusting. You know, expletive liquor. Right. That's disgusting. I mean, I'm sorry to vex you through all that. That's just disgusting. Stop judging my judging. <laughs> you bigot. You are Back off me, you vagina licking bigot. Now, that was just disgusting. Again, and again, they claim to simply perfect while using filthy language like that. Right. And again, sorry to vex you. This is, you know. I'm going to put a warning at the beginning of this video. This is pretty vexing. Oh! Make back me. to the trailer park! Make me! Back to the trailer make park! Make me. Go on. You're a neo-Nazi! Dude, I'm fucking Polish, man! You're a neo-Nazi! Dude, half my family was screwed over. You're worse than the Nazis! I mean, that was just vexing beyond. And, and, and even, even, the, even this Islamic channel can see that these guys are producing bad fruit. But let me show you what the Bible says about producing fruit and, and basically, uh, not producing fruit, about, you know, preaching and that kind of stuff. Um, 2 Timothy 2, 20, and if you ever confront one of these guys, use this verse against them. If they ever, like, get in your face and start yelling at you, because, uh, again, they're not saved. They're very prideful, but use this verse against them. 2 Timothy 2, 24 to 26. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing, instructing those that oppose themselves, if God preadventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. It's supposed to in meekness instruct others that oppose themselves, not get in their face with a megaphone and, and you know, just go into graphic detail of body parts and everything like that. Very that, that was very disgusting. Like you, like you don't do that as a Christian. You, you keep it discreet. But again, you know, they're they're lifted up by their pride, so they just they can't see their own sin. Just like the Pharisees, they are often guilty of the same thing they accuse others of, and saying, stop judging my judgment, you know. I mean, they sound just like lost people. Don't judge me, don't judge me. Sounding just like a lost person. So, just wanted to get that out there. Um, the street preaching movement, uh, the reason why I come so hard against it, is it, as, like I said at the beginning of the video, I do believe they are, are Vatican, you know, agents. I don't know what Vatican order they work for, but I believe they are, because again, they, they preach Roman Catholic doctrine. But I believe they are like sent out by the Vatican to demonize Bible-believing Christians and make us look bad. So when we go out and preach the true gospel, they, they associate us with these heretics, these Roman Catholic agents, and turn them off the gospel. Same thing with like the whole Westboro Baptist, you know, Calvinist cult. And and by the way, Calvinism 
but off a bit of a side note, Calvinism is of the devil. I mean, it's just as bad as Roman Catholicism. But uh, basically, they're, they'll make us, they'll, they'll lift up these heretics, and you have these Westboro Baptists, you know, cult members, who go and protest military funerals with, you know, God hates, I'm not going to say the word, because, you know, liberal YouTube is going to censor me, but uh, they'll use these, these signs and they'll, they'll protest military funerals with, you know, God loves dead soldiers and everything. They're purposely going out to demonize us and make us look bad, so then they can come in and persecute us. And say, see that you must be like those crazy street preachers. They're not one of us. They're they're Roman Catholic heretics. They preach they preach Roman Catholic heresies, and many of them are, are very very sinful themselves. They claim sinless perfection, but if you look at their life, they're very very sinful. And you know the Bible says you you know them by their fruits. So, yeah, don't be deceived by this whole street. I like you know I I heard I heard Brian he calls him a street papist. I like that title, street papist, because they're papists. They're preaching. Catholic the doctrine, and they're working for the Vatican, I guarantee it. So don't be deceived by this whole street papist movement. God bless you. Goodbye.